Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Drabian, radiologist. This is a sonography radiology training channel. I will present different videos, could be benefit for physicians and general population. This is the third video about renal calculi, mostly about radial sense renal stones. In this video, I'm going to speak about radial sense renal stones and I will explain may a stone visible in ultrasound and non visible in non enhanced CT. Generally, we can classify renal stone as two groups group 1, calcium containing stones, which are radio opaque and are seen in plain radiography and group 2 radial central and all the stones. Calcium containing stones including calcium oxalate with or without calcium phosphate, struvite or triple phosphate and pure calcium phosphate stones. Calcium oxalate stones are most common type of renal stones, about 85%. They have a regular shape, hard surface with sharp projection and brown color. If a calcium oxalate stone has moderate size and we take abdominal X-ray with good bubble preparation, we can detect it in plain X-ray, like this stone. Also, we can detect it by ultrasound as you can see in this clip. A straw white stone, it is a bacterial based stone because it is developed in alkaline urine with proteus infection and it is famous as infectious stone. It has a smooth shape and dirty white in color. This stone may enlarge and fill the whole of the collecting system and finally may develop a stag hern stone usually opaque but variable. Stack horn stone usually silent and may cause progressive destruction of renal parenchyma. What is the predisposing factors for development of struvite stone? The first one, it is more common in women, probably due to more incidence of UTI in women. The second one is foreign body in urinary tract like fruity catheter and the third one is neurogenic bladder. We can detect a stack horn stone in plain X-ray, ultrasound, and also computerized tomography. Pure calcium phosphate stones are less common and like calcium oxalate stones are detectable by plain X-ray and ultrasound. What is the teaching point of the calcium containing stones? All calcium containing stones can be detected with plain radiography, ultrasound with the circumstances told in first video, and also non enhanced CT. Radiolysis and renal stones, which are not seen in plain radiography, include uric acid stones, cysteine stones, medication stones, is best known as Indian oil stones, pure matrix stones that also may have a radio dense rim or center. Generally, on CT, almost all stones are opaque but vary considerably in density. Calcium oxalate and pure calcium phosphate stones have the highest Hansfeld unit about 400 to 600. The true white stones, usually opaque but variable, uric acid stones has 100 to 200 Hansfeld unit and cystic stones are also opaque. We can classify radial central stones as two groups CT detectable and CT non detectable. CT detectable stones include uric acid and cystic stones, and CT non detectable include Indian oil stones and pure matrix stones. The first group of radial CT detectable renal stones are uric acid stones, which are the most common cause of radial kidney stones in children. The chains of stone formation increases with increasing serum urate levels and urine excretion rates. What is the clinical classification of uric acid nephrolithiasis? Uric acid stone forming condition include a variety of disorders involving disturbance in brain metabolism, 
renal urate handling and urine pH, especially acidic urine. The first class is idiopathic uric acid stones. The majority of uric acid stone formers appear to have reduced ammonium extrusion as the cause of low urine pH. The second class is gut patient, which they have hyperuricemia. The next class is malignant disease. The common neoplastic disorders that cause hyperuricosuria, including myeloproliferative disease, chronic granulocytic leukemia in adults, and acute leukemia in childhood. Massive cell necrosis in response to chemotherapy abruptly increases urine uric acid extrusion, which may cause extensive precipitation and urinary tract obstruction. The next class is gastrointestinal diseases, including chronic inflammatory bowel disease and patients with elostomy. The next class is drug-induced stones, include perbenicid and aspirin in large doses which both of them are common uricosuric drugs. Uric acid stones not seen in plain history, but we can see flame defect in contrast study like contrast intensity and intravenous urethrography. Also by sonography and CT we can detect the stone. The next radiolucent CT detectable renal stones are cysteine stones. They are extremely hard stone found only in acidic urine, they have hexagonal or benzene ring shape and predisposing factor is cysteine urea. Like uric acid stone, they are not in playing x-ray, but we can see falling defect in intravenous urethrography. Also by sonography and CT, we can detect the stone. The second group of radiolucent renal stones, which are CT non-detectable, including the first one is Protease inhibitor stones or indinavir stones. The recent use of protease inhibitors, which the famous of them are indinavir to treat human immune deficiency viral disease, has led to an increasing prevalence of urinary tract obstruction caused by deposition of crystals that are non opaque on CT scan. The presence of secondary signs of obstruction on the symptomatic side in the absence of an identifiable calculus typically prompts a differential diagnosis of a past stone, pyelonephritis, or obstruction unrelated to stone disease. However, in a patient undergoing therapy with the protease inhibitor or indinavir, the same constellation of findings should suggest the diagnosis of indinavir crystal deposition. This is one example. A 35-year-old man with HIV disease taking indinavir who presented with right flank pain radiating to the right groin. A non-enhanced CT shows addition of renal collecting system as well as mother's stranding of the prenephric fat medial to the lower pole of right kidney. A more inferior image shows dilatation of the right ureter and other inf more inferior scan shows that the right ureter remains dilated to the urethrovesical junction, but no calcification was identified. By subsequent retrograde retrogram shows multiple failing defects in distal ureter and the structure of ureter distal to the indinavir fragment is likely caused by recent stone impaction near the urethrovesical junction. Because demonstration of indinavir crystals requires gas chemotherapy, which is not available in most hospital laboratories, intravenous retrography or retrograde retrography should be used as they provide a rapid way to confirm the diagnosis of crystal deposition disease suspected on the basis of CT findings and clinical history. And the last one of radiolucent CT non-detectable renal stones are pure matrix stones. Matrix stones are a rare form of urinary calculi with most reported cases related to renal stones and few cases of urethral stones. Matrix stones are found within the renal collecting system and are composed of soft 
mucopretinaceous material in normal calcareous calculi protein usually accounts for no more than 2.5% of the dry weight of the stone. However, in matrix calculi, it accounts for between 42 to 84%. Pure matrix stone consists solely of protein and are therefore completely radioluminescent and cannot be visualized, even on non enhanced CT. As such, there is a risk of such stones being missed. This is an example of pure matrix stone in a 63 year old female patient with unexplained flying pain and constipation, showing moderate hydroureteronephrosis, but no visible stones at the level of the distal obstruction. This is one of my patients, which he made me think of making a video about regular central stones. He was a 26 year old man, which I found in Reynolds ultrasound two stones in left kidney, obviously. Two days later, he got back to my clinic and told me angrily I was down non-enhanced CT and there was no stone in my kidney. I reviewed the CT scan and I didn't find any stones in left kidney. I asked him, are you taking Dinovir? And he told me no. After a brief search, I told him your stones may be pure matrix stones. In conclusion, radiolescent renal stones can be classified as two groups CT detectable and CT non detectable, including uric acid and cysteine, and CT non detectable, including indinovir stones and pure matrix stones. For detection of radiolescent CT non detectable renal stones, may need intravenous uretrography or retrograde uretrography. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. If you would like to get notification for the next videos, please press the small bell. And if you have any question or video suggestion, please write in the comments. Thank you for your attention.